Good morning, student. Hello, how are you? Today is holiday. We don't have class, but I'm, I'm doing this video for you to understand the lesson for today and do the activities on the platform. All right. So, guys, please let's open our books, please. Books and workbooks. Okay. So, free to work on them. Okay. Pages 63. 64 and 65. All right, let's see the first picture, which is the aspects. Okay, tell me guys, what can you see in the photos? Okay, here we have three images. What's the first image about? The second image is about an image of an animal. And the third image, what do you think it is? Okay, what do you see in the images? What do you see in the photos about the Aztecs? Okay. Now, the next activity we have is listening. Listen to the first part of the tour and complete the information, no? the sandstone. Complete the four sentences. Listen and complete. Hello, everyone. And welcome to the National Museum of Anthropology here in Mexico City. Now, in front of you, you can see the famous. Oh, yeah. We also call it the calendar stone. It's about three and a half meters wide. An Aztec artist made it in 1479. However, a few years later, the Aztecs lost the calendar stone and they forgot about it. People found it on the main square in Mexico City about 300 years later, in 1790. The pictures on the stone show the Aztec calendar. There were 365 days in a year, the same as our calendar. So the Aztecs had 12 months in a year, just like us, right? No, they didn't. There were 18 months in an Aztec year. One week was five days, and each month had 20 days or four weeks. The days all had names. For example, flower, water, and dog. This stone is a good example of Aztec maths, as well as Aztec art. Okay, one more time, one more time. Listen and complete, guys. Hello everyone, and welcome to the National Museum of Anthropology here in Mexico City. Now, in front of you, you can see the famous Aztec sunstone. Oh, oh that's cool. It's so beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. We also call it the calendar stone. It's about three and a half meters wide. An Aztec artist made it in 1479. However, a few years later, the Aztecs lost the calendar stone and they forgot about it. People found it on the main square in Mexico City about 300 years later, in 1790. The pictures on the stone show the Aztec calendar. There were 365 days in a year, the same as our calendar. So the Aztecs had 12 months in a year just like us, right? No, they didn't. There were 18 months in an Aztec year. One week was five days, and each month had 20 days or four weeks. The days all had names. For example, flower, water, and dog. This stone is a good example of Aztec maths, as well as Aztec art. Okay, perfect. So you had to complete now. So the first one is that the stone has two names, the sandstone and the calendar stone. Yes. Okay, please answer the others. Let's continue. Okay, listen, listen to the second part of the tour and choose the correct answers. Listen and choose the correct answers. Many people know that the Aztecs were fantastic artists, 
But did you know they had very good technology too? They didn't use wheels for transport because they didn't have the right kind of animals to pull things. But they knew about wheels because they used them for children's toys. You can see an example on this small toy dog. Oh, oh that's cool. It's so beautiful. beautiful. Oh, hey, yeah. Wheels weren't useful because Aztecs didn't have many roads. Their city, Tenochtitlan, was on an island in a big lake. There were lots of smaller islands around it. The best way to travel was by water, so the Aztecs made canals. Really? The Aztecs made canals? I didn't know that. So how did they travel? They used canoes. They made the canoes from trees. They were very good at this. Some of the canoes were very big, so 50 or 60 people could travel in them. Excuse me. Yes, sir. I have a question. How many people lived in Tenochtitlan? Well, Tenochtitlan was a very big city with 200,000 people. And how did the Aztecs feed all these people in a city? They were good farmers and very clever because they used the water in the lake to grow lots of food. They made small fields in special baskets. They put these in the water so the plants grew very quickly. Corn was the most popular food. People ate it every day. Now, does anyone have any more questions? Oh, yes. I'd like to ask. Okay, I think that's enough, no? Okay, so how did the Aztecs use wheels? For transport? For toys in transport or for toys? For toys. Second one, what transport did the Aztecs use? A type of animal? Type of boat? Or a type of wagon or cart? Three, how many people lived in the Aztec city of Tenochtitlan? 100,000 100, people, 300,000 or 200,000 people. Okay. Perfect. Now, let's continue with the phrases. These phrases, excuse me, really? Right? You have to listen and complete, yeah? Listen and complete. One. So the Aztecs had 12 months in a year, just like us, right? No, they didn't. There were 18 months in an Aztec year. Two. The best way to travel was by water, so the Aztecs made canals. Really? The Aztecs made canals? I didn't know that. Three. Excuse me. Yes, sir. I have a question. How many people lived in Tenochtitlan? Okay. So, complete, huh? Complete, please. So, the first one will be right. Okay, Com continue with the others. Okay. And let's move to the next part, which is our reading, Pioneer. Okay, listen and follow the reading, okay? Pioneer. Pioneer is a new computer game for schools. Meet Abel Wise, the historian who worked on Pioneer as a games advisor. How did you become a games advisor? My friend is a games designer. He's working on a big project for schools all about the pioneers, the people who traveled from across the U.S. east to west in the 1800s. I studied this part of history, so I am helping him to get the details right. How did the pioneers travel? They used wagons. The journey was more than 3,000 kilometers, and there weren't any roads. There were mountains and rivers to cross, so it wasn't easy. Mm. What problems did you find in the game? At first, the game showed people riding in the wagons, but that didn't happen in real life. Only babies or old people sat in the wagons. 
Most adults and children walked next to the wagon, or they rode on horses. They traveled about twenty kilometers a day, so the journey took five to six months. Did you give them other ideas? Yes, I knew that the wagons were small, so we added a new part of the game. Each player decides what things to take or leave, like real pioneers. They put heavy things, like tables and chairs, at the bottom. Some people even took their piano. The things pioneers needed for the journey, like blankets, plates, cups, and food, were on top of the furniture. Then they slept on top of their things at night. Of course, the wagons were heavy, so when there was a lot of mud, they got stuck. In the end, people often took the heavy furniture off the wagon. The pioneer trail across the U.S. was full of things that people left behind. All right, perfect. Now we knew more about pioneers in this case. Okay, you will have the true or false sentences. Okay, read the interview again and decide if the sentences are true, false, or not mentioned about the pioneers. One, the pioneers made a game. What do you think? True, not mentioned, or false? If you say false, you were right. Number two, they always travel in groups. Three, children usually sat in the wagon. Four, most people travel for about half a year. Five, they didn't take any clothes. I mean, they didn't take many clothes. Six, it was difficult to travel through mud with a heavy wagon true false or not mentioned please. all right do the exercise please okay next it says read the interview again and find examples of these things two type of transport okay furniture geographical features words for people okay please read again and complete the activity Okay, let's go directly to this preposition. No? Prepositions of location. We have next to, in front of, on, under, and behind. Next to, in front of, on, under, and behind. So look at this. Okay, you have to complete, no? Okay, for example, this is on, no? What is the next one? In the next. Listen. I mean, read and complete, no? Look at the prepositions of location and complete. I have a video for you guys about the prepositions. Okay. Let's watch the video right now. And let's do it one more time. Learn about location. Where are the books? On the table. Table. Hey, Where's the food? In the shopping cart. Where's the tree? Next to the house. Where's the dog? Under the tree. Where's the table? Between the chairs. Where's the picture? Above the couch. Where's the computer monitor? On the desk. Where are the toys? In the box. Where are the shoes? Next to the shelf. Where's the chair? Under the umbrella. Where's the ball? Between the bags, where's the light? Above the counter, great job! Remember to yes. like, okay. where are the toys? Location, guys. Okay, let's continue. Activity. 
Okay, on the book on pages, uh, we are on pages 64 and 65, yeah? With this, we have look at the picture and write sentences about the things in the box. Here we have cat, chairs, hat, man, piano, and table, for example. The table, okay, the table is in the wagon, exactly. What about the cat? The cat, where is the cat? The cat is under the chair. Where's the piano? Where's the hat? Okay. Where are the men? Yeah. All right. Please answer and write the sentences using the prepositions of location. Now we have everyday objects. Okay. Here we have the clock, picture, blanket, camera, diary, lamp, bowl, box, hairbrush, money, jewelry, cup, plate, cushion, towel, and comb. So look at the picture, look at the picture, okay? Which of these things can you find in the wall? For example, clock, can you find a clock in the wall? Yes. So you color or put a check mark, okay? What about a picture, a blanket, a camera? Okay, diary, lamp, bowl, box, etc. For example, picture. No, you don't see a picture, but a blanket. A blanket. This is a blanket. Look what we have here. A blanket. Okay. Yeah, that's it. You have to tick or color, right? Now, pronunciation. Listen and repeat. One. Clock. Hot. Box. Two. Comb. Hello. Three. Money. Some. Okay, perfect. Listen again and repeat. One. Clock. Clock. Hot. Hot. Box. Box. Two. Comb. Comb. Hello. Hello. Three. Money. Money. Some. Some. Okay. Thank you. Okay, guys. And finally, you can ask your, your partner, is it, where's the pencil, where's the pool, where's the laptop, where's the table, etc. No personal questions. So they can use a preposition. Now, the last activity, which is listen to a conversation. Which five objects do you hear? Listen carefully. Jenny, Luke, are you ready? It's time to go. Not yet. Hang on. I can't find my comb. Oh, here it is. I'm ready. Oh, no, wait a minute. I want a cushion to sit on. Or I can rest my head on it. Oh, yes. Here's a blanket, too. It might be cold at night. I've got my diary. I want to write about our journey. Good idea. Why don't you put it in that box? Right. Now, are we ready? Let's go. Okay, one more time. Jenny, Luke, are you ready? It's time to go. Not yet. Hang on. I can't find my comb. Oh, here it is. I'm ready. Oh, no, wait a minute. I want a cushion to sit on, or I can rest my head on it. Oh, yes. Here's a blanket, too. It might be cold at night. I've got my diary. I want to write about our journey. Good idea. Why don't you put it in that box? Right. Now, are we ready? Let's go. Yeah. Okay. So what five objects did you listen to? First one is calm, the calm, exactly. And you complete the other piece. Listen as many times as possible. Okay. Thank you, guys. We finished. Don't forget to enter the platform and do all the assignments and the mini tests that I'm going to assign you. Okay? Thank you. Thank you very much. See you next week. Bye-bye. Take care.